Hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Peja, this is Avian Music, and today I want to talk about saving money as a musician as opposed to making money from your music. Now, that's important as well, of course, but that's another topic for another video. Today I want to focus on saving money or making music on a budget. Before we start, just a quick shout out to Zadak or Zadak. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. Definitely check out his music, it's really dope. And I'll be doing shout outs of one of my random subscribers at the beginning of each video. So if you want it to be you, definitely subscribe to the channel. So if you're an up and coming independent musician and you're just starting out with your career, chances are you're not making too much money with it right now. I'm guessing you have a nine to five job and you're doing music on the side and you're, you're just trying to push through the industry and get your music out there, get your music heard and start making money with it eventually. But the fact is making music has a lot of expenses tied to it. It's not a free process. And if you watch some of my earlier videos, you know that I really believe that consistency is the number one thing when it comes to you know, building up your music career. The more you bring to the table and the more people remember you by, the better. But like I said, making music, it's not really free. If you're a solo artist, a singer or a rapper, you need to pay for studio time, production, beats, engineering, releasing and promoting your music, along with making a music video, which is really important in today's day and age. And all of that can cost a lot of money. So today I wanna to talk about a few ways how you can minimize those expenses and start recording your music ASAP on a budget. Also, make sure to stick around to the end of this video so you can utilize this as much as possible. There's gonna be some cool stuff. So the first way of reducing expenses when it comes to making music, and this is mostly applicable to rappers and solo artists, is free beats and free production. Now, before you jump at me in the comments, I'm not saying to DM a thousand beat makers and just ask them to give you free stuff. No, what I'm saying is try to find a producer that is in a similar place in his career as you are and do like a 50-50 royalty split. There's a lot of artists out there. There's a lot of really cool producers that just want to get their music out there. They just want to work with as many artists as possible. So go through Instagram, find some dope artists and ask them if, you, if they want to collab for a royalty split. And this goes the other way around as well. If you're a producer and you want to work with some rappers, definitely try giving out a lot of free beats. Now there's a lot of debate on this. Should producers give out free beats for artists or not? Well, it really depends on where they are, or where you are in your career. If you're a producer just starting out, Yes, I think it's a great way to get your name out there and to put in the hours that you need to build up your craft. And if you make good music and you care about music, you'll definitely find other people that care about music as well and that put music first. I feel like music comes first and you'll always find a lot of people that are just hyped and happy to make music with you if they like what you're doing. If a producer was to come to me with an amazing fire beat and ask me to collab, I wouldn't really care if I make any money out of it because I like rapping on beats. And if I make money in the process, that's even better, but that's not my primary focus. And if you're a musician, it shouldn't be yours as well. Next up is doing the whole process yourself beginning to end. And I'm not saying this is easy. There are a lot of things that they go into making just one song and releasing it to the public. If you don't already know how to do all these things, it's gonna be a long process, but it's gonna pay off in the long run. So let's say you're a rapper, since that's kind of my niche, but this is applicable to any genre actually. But let's say you're a rapper and you're just writing music and doing vocals. Trying to learn the whole process beginning to end is a game changer because you won't depend on anyone else. You try learning to make beats, to mix and master, so engineering, to record yourself, to release music yourself, promote it, and maybe even make a music video. So. Linking to that, I wanna talk about a few ways you can actually record your music yourself. Now, I'm from Serbia and studio prices are different here, but with just a quick Google search, I actually found out every studio time in the United States is from 50 to $150. Now, of course, you can find an hour for $30 and for 500, but if you want a good price to value ratio, you're standing at around $100 per hour of studio time. And you can build your own studio setup for around $500, even less. You need a mic, headphone, and studio speakers or studio monitors. I'm actually dropping a video next week on that complete studio setup for under $500. And if you think about it, paying $100 
for one hour of studio time making two or three songs you're already gonna pay off that studio and each next song that you make is gonna be free plus you're gonna learn the process of recording and setting everything up that's gonna bring us back to you know not being dependent on someone else and my main point around all this is to minimize external sources they can affect the way you make music. It's something and someone that you depend on in order to make your music. And if you learn the whole process yourself, it's it's a game changer. And like I said, guys, it's not gonna come overnight. You're not gonna learn to make beats overnight or mix or master your music or release it. But if you're starting out with your music career, I'm guessing you're in it for the long run and you understand that it doesn't come overnight and you really gotta work hard on it. You're gonna put in years and years of work so if you go into this with that attitude it's going to be much easier and it's going to be much more realistic that one day you're going to get to a point where you can make a full-time career out of this and the last thing i wanted to mention is music videos in 2021 music videos are essential when you're releasing a new single and they can be quite expensive but again just starting out you can just find a friend that's dabbling in photography or videography and just ask him to do that for you and Parts of those music videos you can actually record yourself with a camera that costs $200 or with your smartphone. Smartphones these days are very capable and you can actually record a music video with a smartphone and with some fine editing and color correction and grading, you can make those music videos look amazing and professional with just your phone or like a cheap two or $300 camera. And investing in that camera or in any of this equipment that I mentioned, it's gonna pay off in just a couple of months because because if you wanna outsource any of these things, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. And if you're planning to make just one or two songs, then sure, go to a studio, hire a professional videographer. But if you're in it for the long run, and if you wanna make as much music as possible, as fast as possible, and keep it quality, the best thing you can do is basically learn the whole process yourself and learn the whole craft yourself. I'm not saying that this is easy. It's gonna take time. When releasing a new song, you need to think about music production, vocals and instrument recording. You're gonna think about engineering and releasing that music and building a whole marketing strategy around it, along with the music video. So there's a lot of things that you need to do, but most of these things are learnable. That can't be a word, learnable. You can learn all these things. And if you're consistent and patient and understand that you're in for the long run and it's not gonna come overnight. One day, it's gonna come. Just keep at it, keep grinding, keep killing it. And all these things that I mentioned, you can actually learn how to do on YouTube. There's tutorials for literally everything. You can learn how to make a dope video, frame it well, you can learn how to make beats, how to use different programs, the software, that help you just start building your music career from the ground up without being dependent on someone else you can just do it whenever you want however you want to thank you so much for watching guys i would appreciate you leaving a like and a comment and maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you like the video because it's gonna be a lot more coming again my name is peja this is avian music and i'll see you in the next one soon okay